Hi, this is Mayank from Informatica Global Customer Support. Today we will see Matt tool sets creation in provisioning tool. Agenda for today's video is overview of match rule set creation in provisioning tool, creating match rule sets, and followed by a demo. So using this feature, we can create data-driven profile intelligent match rule set configuration for matching and provisioning tool based on sample data and match training. Instead of manually creating the match rule set in Hub, you can train the machine. It uses machine learning algorithms. The match engine then matches the record in sample data set and identifies 10 pair of records for review. Based on review, the match engine creates the match rule set and provides a confidence score. Based on your input, the system configures the match rules. You can retrain the system till you get a high match confidence score. If the confidence score is low, you, you need to retrain the match engine. The quality of the match rule set depends on the data set that you use. Ensure that the data set contains a combination of matching records, partially matching records, and unique record to create accurate match rules. Informatica recommend that you create these match rule sets in a non-provisioning environment. So this is, these are the steps uh, that are uh, there as part of creating the match rule sets. So the first step is define a match rule set. Then you upload and import training data. In the next step, you train the match engine and you preview the match uh, rule set. And if the match uh, confidence score is good, you proceed with the saving of the match rule set. However, if the score is not good, you again go back to the training step and retrain the engine. This is the screen in which you define a match rule set. Here you will in, upload a file and provide the name of the match rule set. On this screen, you will import the match rule set training data where you will map the incoming uh, source fields to the business entity that you're trying to match. On this particular screen, you train the match engine by providing the feedback to the system. The match rule set creation depends upon the, the kind of feedback the user is providing. If the user is uh, an expert in that field, then based on his feedback, the match rule sets uh, fields weight will be adjusted accordingly. On this particular screen, you Preview the match rule set. A high match uh, confidence meter score suggests that the match rule set is able to identify the number of matches, non matches. And uh, if the match rule set score is good, then you can proceed to the next step. This is the step at which a new match rule set is created where the match key is address point one and uh, the key strength is standard. And the match rule set is manual and the strategy is fuzzy and these are other fields uh, that are identified by the match rule set. Select the ORS in which you want to create the match rule sets. Go to configuration, select match rule sets. These are the match rule sets that are already there for different entities. So click on new match rule set. At this step, you will provide the match rule set metadata. Here you will select business entity and the data population file. You click on the upload. Next step, you browse the file. So At this step, this upload file is showing you the record that you have. So you click on next to do the field mapping. As I've already executed this mapping a few times, system is suggesting to map certain things, which is like from display name to name, birthday and some other fields. So I will click on the save to use the mapping. So at this step, it will Suggest that if there are any data that will be removed. So you click on the delete. 
system again prompts you that you want to delete all the data, which you again click on delete. And the import process will run to delete all the data that you have and import the file content. Once the data is imported, you click on the next. So at this step, the system suggests you to find a key type. In this case, we'll choose person name because we wanted to map the display name with the name. And we click on the continue. And system starts to create data pairs for the data that we have uploaded. So here user is uh, presented with 10 uh, different data pairs that system has identified. Here for this data set, we see that the name matches and the address line also matches. So we can select it as a match, not show or not a match. So in this case, we'll select match. For the second record, we see that the name is the same. The address line is also the same. So we select it as a match. Here also we see that the address line city and the name is matching. So we suggest it as a match. So all these selections of the match and non-match depends upon the user who is actually a, a domain expert for uh, this data. So we will go through all these data that the tool has identified. So here we see that the address is exactly the same. So we do a match. So once you have identified the match pairs, you click on the show match results. As we can see that based on the user input, a high confidence score is indicated by the system. We can look at the matching records, the unique records and all records. Here by clicking on one of those match scores, we can see that the person name score matches. So 100% weight given for this field. Similarly, we can view a few more records. System automatically calculates and adjusts the field's weight depending upon this. Now the confidence looks good. So we can choose the system to recontinue the training. But in this case, since the confidence score is highest, we will go to the next step. On this step, we see is that the system has suggested three match rules and key type as in person, the key strength as in standard, and the strategy is fuzzy. So these are the these are the combinations for the match rule set that is identified by the system. So at this step, you can click on the save. So you go to the hub console and do a refresh for the match merge setup, as we can see, that system has identified the match path and also the match columns. What is the key type and different columns that are used for the matching? And this is the match rule set that is created by the system, which specify different types and different columns.
this is the link where you could see extra details about creating the match rule sets in MGM version 10.4. Thank you.